Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Friday, August the 21st. The year's 2020. Let's talk trading. It's time for the weekly wrap up. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. Trading is extremely risky. You can lose all of your money. If you need trading, investment, or financial advice, seek the advice of an accredited financial professional. Risk management, you must always have it in place. Don't lose any more on any one particular trade than you're willing to trade. I saw a comment out there on YouTube. The guy said he won, no, I think he said four trades in a row. And on his fifth trade, he gave back half his profits. Well, is that what your exit playbook told you to do? Is that part of your money management? I don't know what to tell you because you didn't give me all of the pieces. So you're going to have to let us know if you just blew it or if that was part of your money and risk management and brain management. Um, I don't know. Did you hold on that trade? Were you hoping that it would come back? Did you wind up with the regret of being stupid? Did you stay in the trade because you had a fear of missing out or fear of losing out? I mean, did you not want to get out earlier? I mean, what happened was basically, you know, that, that was on you. And so if you're feeling any pain, that's coming from your reaction to the market. Don't blame the market. And once again, the money management. I don't know. Were you in profit? You should have taken it before the market took it back. I mean, you, I don't know. Were you up 10 pips? A total of 10 pips, and then you get in a trade, and you see it going down, and you let it get to 5 pips? Well, if that's in your plan, that's okay. That's just part of trading. But if that wasn't in your plan, then, you know, it's 2 by 4 upside your head time. Okay, traders. Here we go for the week, all gaps filled. And if you look at the pound, you can see it's almost a doji. I mean, it shot up, and then look where it is. It's only seven pips above the open. And if you guys wonder why only the pound, well, when I started uh, bringing Walmart, you know, letting him talk in the videos, this is what he traded. So I switched over. And I think we've been doing pound videos, what, since February? And, um, well, I should probably let Walmart tell the story. But let's just say he's done really well just trading only the pound. Now, this week was a very interesting week. Um, if you look here, let's widen this out. We actually, looks like we might have put in a high for the year right there this week. Oh, that's, I'm sorry, that's the first day of the week high right there. I'm sorry, first day of the year high. We almost broke out of that range. But look what it did. It touched it, and it came all the way back down into the range of the first day of the week. Then it shot up, <laughs> actually went above the open for um, the year today, and then came back down. And so, once again, just trading these simple horizontal lines, would have paid off big time. So right here you can see high for the year, 21 pips off of that high. So I'm sorry, that's high to the open. Um, let's see, we're 177 pips off the yearly high. But right here, there was an opportunity to short off of the opening day of the year. And so once again, simple horizontal lines, first day of the week, you know, first day of the month right here. We had that line there and then first day of the year. So just trading these lines, first day of the week, first day of the month, this, just trading in the direction of the daily candle, sitting in the trade with your money management, it paid off. This isn't Harry hindsight. This is something we show just about every day. These, these same old lines. And somebody else said to see, oh, I'd like to see a whole day's worth of trading. I mean, that could be one trade, it could be 10. As, and as somebody else 
um, pointed out, it's like watching a soccer match or a professional football game. You watch the whole game. Can you go out and do what you just saw? Of course not. Now you got to practice. And so, you know, get some skin in the game, a penny a pip, a dime a pip, and start trading. Start trading at horizontal lines. This stuff is not difficult. You don't have to, have to worry about the statistics or any of that. In fact, somebody else sent an email talking about mentoring. Watch my videos. Because if you were sitting beside me in the same room, I'm not going to tell you anything different than what I'm telling you on the video. So just, you know, go back and watch the videos. You know, if one method um, strikes your fancy, then look at all the videos that talk about that method. Because I've said it all, I, basically, I'm repeating myself over and over because that's what good trading is. It's repetitious. And the inside bar, here we had that inside bar four days ago. And you can see there, boom, boom. We had the weekly inside bar. And it crossed there. So simple horizontal line trades. And you see there was some more inside bar action here. The range, a lot, you know, a couple handful of pairs over 100 pip range. But, you know, here on the daily, you can see here it came up into the wick zones from two days ago, three days ago. Right there, just, you know, I can eyeball this if I, if I didn't even have horizontal lines. I go, well, look, it's up in this wick zone. Once price hits that level, it's like, uh, let's go short. This isn't that difficult. And it's just like yesterday. You see here, well, what happened? It went past this level. Didn't quite get down to this level. Well, actually, it did. So it jumped out of that wick zone, jumped out of that wick zone, jumped out of this. And you can see... It's, it's leaving those bottom wick zones, and so if it's not going down, it's going up. <laughs> Once again, traders, this isn't difficult. And all these guys with their stochastics and MACDs and AOs and all those other things, I you know, if it works for you, fine. And, you know, rainbow moving averages and, you know, all these different pennants triangles and rectangles and oxagons or whatever they're putting on the chart you know i just kind of chuckle to myself but hey if that works for you it's okay i'll just stick with these horizontal lines you know here we go we've got horizontal lines a daily open we had the pivot point here so short bias so you would ignore these you take that trigger and look what happened <laughs> once again simple does it work all the time no but does it work a lot of the time yes the rat zone another one we got the current daily high the current daily low we know price doesn't like staying in the rat zone and see we hear the daily lat the daily rat zone and the weekly rat zone here the lower the green rat zone I guess I should say weekly green rat zone and just spell it out. But yeah, so the weekly and the daily, it's the same. And so price left it once and price is leaving it again. So right here, you see, if you didn't just look at the price action here and see what's happening, um, you just let the market take the money back. What am I talking about price action? Repeat. It's real simple. Price action. Price is either going to go above the previous high or not, go below the previous high or not. It'll either break out of one or the other, or it'll stay within. You either, so it's just that simple. So, what's happening here? Uh, it didn't really make a new high, it made a higher low, but here it dropped out of these two wick zones, candle turned red. Well, sure, anything could happen. It could have turned red. You got out of the trade, and it could have went to the moon. But, hey, if, if you're worried about that, then all you do is enter the trade if it breaks, if it starts to make a new high. So, I mean, once again, 
this stuff seems pretty simple and you were in at 78 and let's see what was the high here uh double low well <laughs> psychological you made up over 20 pips take the pips off the table you know put it if, even if you put in a five pips trailing stop you would have made 15 pips <laughs> it's not difficult and i don't understand why traders make it so difficult and you know as we talked about earlier you know you have to know what, what kind of trading you're doing. If you're, if you're just doing this pip grabbing, so we, you know, we call it scalping, but that technically it's not scalping. So if you're just out here grabbing pips, you know, don't worry about things like risk reward and all that other nonsense. And people say, well, what if it goes against you 20 pips? You do not allow it to go to 20 pips unless it's some unforeseen circumstance, like some, you know, news announcement announcement came out unexpectedly. It wasn't, you know, there was a war breakout or, you know, some kind of natural disaster and it causes the price to spike by 50 pips. Well, you know what? That's just trading. Black swan events happen. But you have to roll with the punches. Okay, here. We took out that pivot. We showed that before. And we're not getting any ticks here. That's interesting. Or are we? Okay, on the week, you see we still have a couple missed pivots for this year. The daily, we don't have any in August. We've got four left here. You can see the missed pivots. In and out of the upper wick zone and in and out of the lower wick zone. Once again, daily, previous day's high, previous day was low. You can take the breaks, you can make some pips. Not difficult, not difficult at all. Here, just looking at all the different uh, range measurements, high minus the low, high minus the close. You got close minus the low, high minus the open. I guess I don't have open, oh yeah, down here, open minus the low. But because I have that other indicator hooked up, you can't see it. But right there, the open minus low today was 49. So if you're trading some of these, you know, the daily open line, obviously it was profitable again today. But here, look at this. Monthly high from last month, it broke it, came back down. Weekly high from last week, broke it, came back down. These trades are there. They almost happen every week, every month. You, you can find some horizontal line that price is going to break. Previous day high, low. Looking down here for the day, 196 pips, 96 percentile. Don't think price is going to move anymore, but it could. You can see the last two hourly ranges was 11 and 11. And if you're wondering why this number is different, chances are this could be like 11 point, you know, nine, and this could be maybe 11.5. So inside the indicator, you're going to get the different percentages. But I didn't print out that extra decimal. I don't really need it, so so I didn't do it. Whoops. And the simple price action. Um, I mean, really, a three ball on the top of the H1, red at the line, and it was just game over. Here, three ball, green at the line, boom. It's not difficult, traders. You don't have to make it difficult. I hope you had a profitable day and week trading, and I hope you have a fun and safe weekend. And if you have any questions, make them specific. And if you can, put a chart out. If you ask me about the an indicator, give me the exact indicator name, please. Help me help you. But always remember and never forget, when you're at your trading platform, it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So come back next week 
and drain the banks. The rumpled one over and out.